Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is episode 7 of our journey to Iridescent. Last episode we hit Diamond and now this is our first game in Diamond as we go through on Fortress Hardpoint, my favourite map and mode currently in the game. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are enjoying, your favourite game and, not game, favourite map and mode so far in Ranked. Okay, so we go through here, my teammate actually kind of does good on the hill, but the opponents do even better flipping the spawns. Now on P1, what you want to do on this map is prioritise the castle spawns and that's not what happens. We lose the spawns, this guy's in the top window in the single boat area and i'm like you know what i need to make sure i take this guy out first as soon as we take him out i'm gonna jump around the corner center onto the guy on the hill and honestly a really good break there considering i was by myself my teammate wasn't really helping me fantastic break good opportunity to go through and get the remaining of the scrap time now what i'm gonna try to do is on the top right i'm gonna try to add the map with the call outs let me know if you guys prefer it or if you want it without it for the next episode i just think it'll be easier to help you guys out and also when i'm calling certain places out at least you guys can see what i'm talking about and i do get the call outs from tac maps if you want to check that one out but right here, I think I made a really good heads up play. I'm going to go to the stairs, play with my dead silence, wait for this guy to rotate. As soon as we take him out, I'm now in a good position to not only break the hill, but also break the spawn. So while my teammates are going through the front, I'm going to go through the back, go get another massive kill. That's a two piece. Push through, watch the middle area here. I know they're going to be spawning P1 just because of how many times I've played this game. They should be spawning P1. There you go. The guy spawned. You can see he had his knife out. And yeah, I got really unfortunate that the second guy was there. Honestly, I should have just backed myself, held those spawns, and I probably would have got more success. But. I think that was a good kind of showing of how spawn knowledge works. And if you do know where the spawns are, it can really help you. My teammates just need to get maybe one or two kills on the hill. I kind of banked on them getting at least one kill. Didn't quite work out like that. While my teammates were fine for the scrap time, I looked at the window and made sure we can guarantee that kill. And in this scenario, I'm like, right, I can push this guy. Hopefully my teammates can go through for the rotation. And this scrap hill was actually pretty big because that one gunfight got me another 10 seconds on the hill now. Now I'm looking at the minimap, looking at the rotation, and I'm just making sure that my teammates do a good job. Again, knowing the spawns is very, very crucial. I know they're going to spawn around the P1 area, so we're going to go through dive onto this Hegner chair. In this scenario, I kind of got caught, you know, reloading and stuff, but I think I did pretty good. I was left from the scrap time, once again, allowing my teammates to be in position to kind of excel. Now, this was really unfortunate, honestly. I didn't see the opponent there. I got a really, really lucky spawn, and I could have just played it slightly better. If you're in that scenario and you get a good spawn, don't take it for granted. Don't run across the map like I did, like an idiot. Back off play a corner wait for the opponent to push you because that is exactly what happened there now in this scenario i'm looking at the map right that area looks open chuck a grenade over really good placement fortunately they didn't have a trophy system which worked out perfectly for me 25 seconds left and it's about the rotation you have to be ahead of the rotations in this game especially with how easy it is to hold hills because of like trophy systems and when your team has set up and all that stuff you want to make sure that you're rotating and prioritizing rotation so i try to jump on there and it's all about timings timings is everything in hardpoint okay i really want to stress that point and this is the perfect example i could have easily gone back on that kind of head glitch on the top of the truck but i thought right by the time i get there the opponents are really going to push me and you saw that one kind of mess up there really cost me there honestly if i jumped on the truck i think i would have been in a pretty good position to maybe get two or three kills because i've done that so many times in the past i've been on that truck they don't really see me and yeah i'm able to kind of clear the path but that's okay we're gonna go through here and yeah while my teammates are getting three kills i'm gonna go around the last guy's on the hard point perfect that's four down now looking at the minimap they're probably gonna spawn their p1 or the gate area on the left hand side so i'm like right i'm just gonna back off make sure i'm watching the flank and watching these right stairs so i've got two ways to cover and another thing, if you guys are playing and you're watching one area, don't be afraid to mix it up. Don't be afraid to move around the map as you're seeing right now. We go through, we get a two-piece, chuck a stun on the left, going to watch the right again. No one's there, going to watch from underneath. And it's all about finessing around, maneuvering on the, around the map. Just think about it for a second, okay? Just zoom out for a second. Pretend that you're not playing, right? And you're watching over. There's obviously more than four specific areas that opponents can come from. So if everybody's watching one area, most of the time you're going to be missing people on the minimap. So that's why I like to watch more than one area at once, try to finesse around, but not doing too much. Don't do too much where you miss things, but just do enough where you can see more than one area. I know it sounds complicated, but it's a lot easier in the game. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. So we go through, I realize nobody's on the left-hand side. Now this little castle gate area is actually a really good spot to kind of watch the contest points and make sure nobody gets on the hill. As I'm saying that, the guy comes on the left-hand side and that is the one spot that you don't want them to go through because they have a nasty head glitch there, which is exactly what ended up happening. But we go through here. 35 seconds left here they could get back into the game here gonna go around and again the guy just catches me off guard and it's all about timing so this hill is looking like it's going towards my opponent with 25 seconds left i got a very very fortunate spawn we got blessed here and now while, when i get the spawns i always think where can my opponents be i heard somebody behind me we go through we take out one the second guy is also there i wasn't ready for that gunfight so we kind of back off and now i'm thinking right we need to rotate for p1 again i'm getting the blessed spawn i'm spawning castle and what this normally means is that they're going to spawn this back gate right in front of me they're going to be spawning that gate area 
So I'm like, cool, let me go through. But then looking at the minimap, I noticed that nobody's blocking spawns on our side. So it's all about blocking spawns, kind of um, cornering them onto a map. Because nobody's blocking spawns, they're going to spawn behind us. And that's exactly what happens. We go through. And now I'm in a scenario. My teammates are kind of tunnel visioned on the, on the old hard point. And no one's really helping me. The only reason I challenged that, honestly, is because I wasn't expecting him to be more aware. I was expecting him to kind of run at me. And I thought I'd be able to camera him. Normally it works out, but that guy was a bit alert. A bit too alert for me right there. We go through. My teammate dies. And this is where the hill gets a bit scrappy. I'm trying my best to get in the hill. Hoping my teammate, because I'm giving them the freedom to finesse around the map. I'm hoping that's giving them enough freedom to kind of push through and allow me to just sit on the hill we go through we get one we almost take out the second but some really good shots from him man he manages to take me out with 20 seconds left we're in a fantastic spot though i'm gonna go through the left we take out one we make him one shot now i'm assuming that maybe one player's rotated here so while i go through the right we take out the third a second gonna go to the left here, and i'm just assuming one's rotated and there you go we managed to win that gunfight that's a three piece now if the last guy snuck through here the spawns will flip i'm hoping he hasn't and you're gonna see right here the last guy actually did sneak through good play from him honestly he was there for a while really big heads up play from him be able to get the kill and flip the spawns and it all comes down to those individual gunfights you see we spawn all the way out even though i got a three piece just because that one guy had the spawn so make sure you're not that guy that doesn't check spawns like i was make sure to always check spawns have that as a priority because once you have spawns it's a lot easier to hold the hill I'm gonna go through the right here while my teammates get a two piece we go through make the third guy weak and although we didn't get the kill my teammates actually doing a good job through the back they're actually pushing through they managed to get three people down i'm spawning through the front and now it's just about finessing trying to win the gunfights and the trades but unfortunately it doesn't quite work out as the opponents manage to catch up and yeah just like that they just win the trade battle in a scenario like this when it's 50 50 you want to just kind of chalk it and go for the rotation especially on this p3 this p3 is the biggest money hill i say this every time you guys are probably sick of it but i want you guys to get in your head this p3 is the biggest money hill and i'm about to show you an incredible spot if you guys don't know this spot try out i saw sib users from seattle surge and i was really impressed with this spot because i realized how much kind of cover you have and it's just a bit of a weird angle because the opponent has to elevate on there so if you guys saw that um statue area make sure to sit on there the only reason i moved is because my teammate was also on the hill and you don't want two people on the hill in my opinion that's a terrible play on this one you only want one you want to be able to go through right now you can see i've got a trophy system here two people down so i'm gonna sit on the top angle and all i need to do is watch the right hand side now i don't play this perfectly because i wasn't quite i just feel like my coordination just wasn't on point right now so you see the guys on the right we're gonna pre-aim it and as soon as he comes out we're gonna beam him take one out now it's all about this second guy if he pushes me we have to be, be ready to take him out there's two ways to play this one is doing what i'm doing now two is sitting behind cover and making sure that you don't die i personally like to switch things up i think right now we're doing a pretty good job in terms of map control the reason why i like to sit here and watch over is just because i feel like it's a bit less common and as you can see right now we're going to watch the left hand side we're going to make him weak and we're going to try to back off now again looking back if i could literally replay that moment right now i would be on the edge of the statue this is really important i'll be on the edge of the statue and as i take the first guy out I would back off and go down into cover. That way, making it a bit harder to kill me. Right there, I was kind of out in the open and they were able to take me out. But that's okay. We've got a massive, massive amount of time on that hill. I see this guy in the bottom area. Going to try pre-firing him. We make him weak. And I mean, great job from him, man. He, he manages to slide into the cover. And you know how difficult it is to take an opponent out when they're on cover, snaking and all that stuff. So, managed to take me out. We spawn quite close to the hill. Going to go through. While my teammates are on the hill, we're going to use a stun. Stun on the left. Going to nade the guy on the right. We take this guy on the hill. And it's all about finessing now. We know that they're going to be underneath we take out two massive two piece and i'm just gonna be playing around the hill i don't really need to worry about anything i'm just gonna get on the hill while my teammates are watching around me let me just soak up some time here we're literally that close to winning where it's just one of those moments where you just gotta soak up the rest of the time and hope that your teammates can cover you i personally like actually like getting in the hill on this specific hill because i feel like it's one of those hills where you can kind of finesse around there's so many kind of credit corners you can play as you're seeing right now being able to maneuver around the map and still watch like over yourself so that's what i'm kind of doing there we're going through the guy comes through the window we pre-fire him he's not going to get in time and just like that we win the game dropping the most kills on the team minute and a half in hill I think that was a pretty good performance honestly it was, a, it was a fair split in terms of teams and i think we played that pretty well hope you guys did enjoy the video and throughout the video i thought that we were in control of the game the main key takeaway points if you guys want to know is in my opinion from that game was if your opponent's got a good setup learn when to chalk it up learn when to rotate and just kind of match their setup let's say they get 30 seconds right instead of kind of I'm struggling for the last 20 if it's going for a contest battle just back off go for the rotation win the next 45 and get back into the game make sure you're never out of the game even if they get one hill ahead of you just get one hill back make sure the game's head to head and make sure you clutch up thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next video peace